Welcome back to Climate Smart Agriculture. Forest garden is our key focus point today. Trees for the future have equipped farmers with tips on forest gardening at Waruhiu Farm. Tumekuja hapa Waruhiu Farm kusoma mambo ya ukulima sababu tumeanza kusoma masomo mpya inaitwa CBC na hii maonyesho itatusaidia sana. Hapa tum, hapa tumekuja na wanafunzi wa darasa la 4 na darasa la 5 e, ndio waimalike kwenye masomo ya CBC. A, CBC ni muhimu sana kwa wanafunzi sababu inasaidia ile mambo wanafanya kila siku. For example, hawa wanafunzi wanatumia vegetables na sana sana wengi wao walikuwa wanatumia wa, wananunua. Lakini tangu CBC yaanze siku hizi mpaka wanauza wanapata hela zaidi. Umuhimu wa hii masomo ya ukulima ni muhimu sana sababu kwanza hawa watoto wanapata hela zaidi inaimarisha afya sababu wanapata chakula kama wanajua vitamini ni gani, carbohydrates na chakula ya kujaga mwili. Kwa hivyo afya zao zinaimarika. Pia hawa wanafunzi sasa ndio tegemeo kwao. Wanafundisha wazazi wao mambo ya ukulima. Kwa hivyo nchi inaendelea. Wakati kuko na afya, pesa nyingi hazitumiki kwenda hospitali namna hiyo. Ah, uh, hawa wanafunzi wako very much interested kuona mambo ya ukulima sababu wakija kama hii maonyesho ya Waruhiu Farm wanaona ukulima inapeleka watu wapi sababu hapa wanakuta wale wakulima ambao wameenda bere wanajisaidia na ukulima na wanaona ukulima ni biashara na ni kazi na tusaidia kulima kama hivyo watu kwa tunajua kulima sasa tunajua nimejiona kuna ukulima tofauti na mimea tofauti kulima kama ya boga kuna mapapai pumpkins miti inasaidia kivuri mimea inasaidia chakula unaweza vuna na, na uze hadi hadi unaweza nunua na upande hata kwako tunapada miti na kataka tulianza kupada miti sasa tunaenda ku, kufanya kufanya validation ya chakula ya ngombe na pia hiyo maua tunaanza kuweka miziga ya nyuki tutoa kwa nyuki zinaweza tembea kwa kwa hiyo miti pa umuhimu ya miti inasaidia hewa na pia ingine inasaidia mchanga kuliza nitrogen kama hizo tunapada ya kaliadra, tricadra na hiyo kama hiyo ya crop cover three cover cover crops leo nimejifunya mengi kwa sababu hata ingine siku anajua ati unaweza kutumia hiyo miti kufanya kitu kama bolea na pia kufanya hiyo kitu kama bao kutoka kwa hiyo miti na kuni hapo inasaidia kama watu wasikate misitu. Hiyo miti unatoa ba unatoa ma, ma, chakula ya ngombe na pia unatoa kuni. One of the things I wanted to learn, I come from Deya and it is a dry place. So I wanted to know when it is dry, how can I sustain the retro, how can I use the retro water we have and how can I still continue feeding my family? without going there out asking for help from the government. That is one and I've learned it from the Zaipids, from Moching, all those from Hugo Kacha. I've seen so many ways that we can transform the year. Also as a reed farmer, I came also wanting to help my farmers more. You know they have been used to that trade. Ya yeah, serikali saidia, mostly when it is dry, like last year. They always used to go there asking for the relief foods, but we know we can change it there in simple ways. Hii na penda kulima wa sababu, nilikataa kusomeswa. Na vile nilikataa kusomeswa, nikaona, nikaigiso kwa samba. Hii mabo yote ya samba, bangu alikuwa ngirikacha. Sasa vile alikataa kunisomesha alikuwa anapenda tuende saba na yeye na sasa wengine wote wamesomeshwa. Sasa na mimi nikasema nitashika hiyo masomo. Kwa hivyo hiyo masomo ndio nimeendelea naye na nikavundisha wewe ni kitu na miba yangu. Na nika nikasema wewe ni niendelee na, na kulima ni watoto wangu naye nikipata ni wasomese. Na watoto wangu ndio unaona amekuja na mwambia akuje kutoka Limuru na mimi Dodora tukutane tuwe aone mambo ya agriculture was also a very good learning day for me especially for the the forest 
the fullest, the fullest bit of it. The fullest bit of it is that we are able to know that we don't have to have a fence with Kai Aiba. Like my, my farm, my shamba actually, I've surrounded it with Kai Aiba, that's the only thing. But now I've been told that I can plant, but I, I believe I'll be able to get whatever. And this is good for the food, for the animal feed. I've learned a lot of things today. I've learned how to, to make manure or a compost, how to prepare a nursery, and different variety of fruits that do in different kinds of environment. Like I learned a new fruit, dragon fruit. We work with farmers to implement a project called Forest Garden. We have all close to 10,000 farmers, close to 10,000 farmers with uh, uh, around 15 projects. 10 in Homa Bay region, 5 in Kiambu region, and we also have planted forward. The way we implement our project, we have partners and scouts are also helping us to replicate what we are doing with the farmers in schools and even in other regions. Uh, so far, where we are now today, in our project we have a training site. We have one here and we have one in Homa Bay region. Those training sites are meant to teach farmers. Like what we are doing here today, the farmers come here to learn what we want them to implement where their farms are. What is here is the real forest garden that we are talking of, where we have component of fruit trees, we have component of tree nurseries, we have a component of vegetables, we have a component of woodlots, where we have timber trees, and so many other things. We have also a component of alley, we have also a component of compost. In most of our farms, we don't use the fertilizers they get from the agrovet. But what we are doing, we teach the farmers to make their own compost and use them for planting. Because the compost they will make with the raw materials they have in the forest garden. What have you learned today? Share with us on all our social media platforms at Farm Kenya or text us on the number at the bottom of your screen. Farmers are now happy having learned a lot on forest gardening. Thank you for watching today's episode on Climate Smart Agriculture. Let's meet next week for yet another exciting episode.